During the First World War, the German priest Joseph Kentenich founded the Schoenstatt movement with the help of some young people. The date was October 18, 1914. Now 98 years later, this movement is preparing to celebrate its 100 year anniversary. That's why they spent months discussing how they will celebrate the 2014 conference, an event that will bring together members from 40 different countries. In the year 2014, that will mark 100 years of the Show and Stop movement. We want to celebrate looking back to thank God's gifts, but also to discover what is the order of God for us at this time. The members of this movement are mostly families and young people, but it also includes priests and consecrated life. They plan on putting up information points in their cities to tell people about their work in schools, universities, and social projects. Something very important is going to be a pilgrimage to be performed in 2014 to Schoenstatt in Germany and also to Rome. During their time in the Eternal City, the group will have an audience with the Pope that will bring an end to the 2014 conference. In these hundred years, what makes this movement stand out is the small chapels built in their sanctuaries. Worldwide, there are about 200 of these, all of which are replicas of the original in the valley of Schoenstatt, Germany. They're open to visitors and carry a special meaning. The origin of Schoenstatt is small and simple, just like the source of renewal in the life of the church is simple. God always chooses the small, and the sanctuary reminds us of this reality. With all of these activities, members of Schoenstatt are also closely following the process of beatification for their founder, Joseph Kentenich.